The confectionery business is one of the fastest growing industries in Nigeria today. Every day, someone is celebrating a birthday and a cake is needed. People also eat snacks. How is the baking and confectionery business faring for industry practitioners in the southeast and especially in Enugu states? We focus on bakes and cakes as we speak with prominent brands in the city on this week's episode of Marketplace East. My name is Uwoma Ifechelovi, and we've been in business for over 10 years. We started out as oven cake craft. Um, I partnered with a company in Lagos and Abuja at that time to start up um, a branch in Enugu. So it was oven cake craft Enugu for um, about five years down the line. We had to dissolve the partnership, and that was when Belmont Cakes came to be. So, um, as Belmont, we've been in business for about seven years. Um, we've, been, we've been around for the past eight years. Um, I actually started from the house. You know, um, honestly, when I started, I didn't have any clue. I didn't know we we're going to get this big, you know, because um, I had no supply chain. I had no big mixers. I had a small oven, you know, like... I have it like, you know, the oven that comes with a, a tabletop where you can cook on top and then bake. Just the minute. In fact, it was um, it's a wedding gift for one of my aunties. Has been started since 2016 to date. So, ever since then, it wasn't easy. So, I have to keep pushing. But now, I thank God, I thank God that I can see that things are. Okay, now, and uh, you know, we, are, we are improving. We are improving now. Um, I, I started from small, and I started from house. From there, we now moved to, I have to get a shop, and we have one to this place, and I'm uh, now here. So. We specialize in cakes and desserts, and recently we um, added bread to our line of products. We are a confectionery outfits. We're into cakes for every occasion. We're into desserts. We're into breakfast, finger food, and everything nice. Okay, we make celebration cakes, birthday cakes, um, anniversary cakes. You know, um, we make um, small chops. Small chops, that's, um, that's what it's called in Nigeria. But they're actually called finger foods, you know. And then um, we make surprise food trays, luxury trays. Um, we make, we also cater for events. We make desserts, you know. And then here we have, um, we have a hall upstairs people use for small seminars. And it's made um, gatherings. And we also have a space outside, you know, that takes about 80 people for a party. Okay, we specialize on cake and pastries and events management. Okay, so we had to develop a product, especially for them, you know, students and people who don't want to spend so much on cakes. We um, had to come up with the flat cake options, where you can have two thin layers of cakes, um, about 2.5 inch high, you know, and um, you can pay 7.5, spend 7.5 on a cake or sometimes a little bit less. So that came to be during COVID. We had to come up with something that people were not celebrating so much. So people wanted smaller cakes and it helped us to 
come up with a product for people with a low budget? Um, we have something for everyone. You know, basically, mm -hmm. you know, when you say low income <laughs> earners, mm -hmm. you know, we just we just like um, we we're so passionate about what we do. You know, we can't stand it when someone comes in and can't afford any of our treats. So we have small packages as well. We have um, um, a package that is as low as 500 naira that I think anyone can afford. In fact, we even have a package of 500 naira puff puff that is like one of our best sellers. Even if you can't eat, you think our spring rolls or samosa is expensive, you can't afford puff, you know. So um, it's just, um, this is just a place for everyone. But the most fun thing is that you're going to enjoy every single treat you have here. Like, low income customers, sometimes we do work with their budgets. Like, we, we work with their budget. Maybe low income customers will come and tell me, please, I need a low income cake, like a sizable cake. I said, okay, no problem, I can work with your budgets. So that's how we work. It's not so that Okay, so sometimes low income customers are people who are going to bring uh, bigger businesses for you. So I don't look at them that way. Most of all, I love them. I love everybody. I love working for everybody. So sometimes you just have to, you don't get it all the time. It's not 100% all the time. So yeah, you just have to work with them, work for them. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. So I mean, this is life, so you can't have it all. We, we like um, quality. We like quality. You know, um, when most times when people call to order a cake and you, you give them a price, which I think our prices are so affordable, even though most times people feel, ah, it's expensive. But um, we always assure you that when you get a slice or have a taste of what we do, um, you're going to love it. So we try to um, make, okay, like, let me give you an example. Um, there's something called um, like a tall cake. A tall cake is in vogue. It's like a six or seven inches tall cake. And we started feeling, what was the point of making a tall cake when you can just make a two tier, like something like two um, layers of cake? Do you understand? Is that for the boy? You can just have just that for a birthday. We even created so many um, packages too. Like we have a birthday packages that you can just have a small cake, few small chops, maybe few burgers, and maybe a drink that you can give to someone. You know, so I think what's going for us is the quality and the taste of what we do. Perfection is what sets me apart from every other person and different. I do different. I'm a very different person. So when you try my finger food, you see perfection, you see difference. It's not like what every other person do out there. So perfection is for me. I would say that is the taste of our cakes. We pay a lot of attention to the taste of our cakes. Every day we try to, you know, get it to taste better. Our cakes are always moist, always rich, always delicious. We don't compromise at all. A lot of people know how to, you know, decorate cakes very well. But the truth is that the main thing is what is inside. And we don't joke with that at all. But yes, we also pay attention to, you know, the decoration to know that we don't. What's that different is that this is the job I have passion for. This is a job I have passion for, so I intend doing it. So I think that I'm different from them. I'm, I'm happy to whenever I'm doing the job. I, I do small chops, I do parfait, cake parfait, and other pastries. This is Niger Feedback. Um, okay, so we, 
plan to move into other cities. At the moment, we're in Enugu and Port Harcourt. And um, we believe that other people should have a taste of our cakes. We shouldn't be selfish about it. So in the next five years, hopefully, we, um, we'll be in places like Owere, Uyo, um, Abakiliki, Oka. I must mention Oka because at the moment, a lot of people come all the way from Oka to order cakes from us. So yes, we're working towards that. Okay, so in five years, I intend to take over the Southeast, I intend to take over Nigeria, I intend to take over Africa, baby. Yeah, amen to that. So that's what I'm working to. Recently, we started catching for events, and it's also been awesome as well. Um, so um, we now feel now we have this big space. Why would we just rely on making um, all the cakes as much of? Why don't we introduce food? Yeah. So we've just got in the food warm and we're planning to do that. So someone yeah. can just walk in, not pre-order because we're used yeah. to what, when this place actually started off, if the plan was for you to pre-order and then you come and take. But now we, we want to have a walk-in, you know, customer that can just come in and, you know, buy something off the shelf and have a good, a good day. I pray that this business will go more global and have branches in other states. That's my expectation. In the next, next five years, I pray that I will go global. Any state that you, any state that you are, you, have, you will see these events there. So that's my expectation. Um, for us, the major challenge is um, in getting skilled staff. So around this area, you, it's, it's very difficult to find people who are already good with cake decoration. So almost all the time, we have to employ people with absolutely no knowledge of you know, cake baking or cake decoration, and we have to teach them from scratch. Then when you have taught them for six months, one year, and you're ready to you know, benefit from what you've put, invested in them, sometimes they're ready to go. In places like Lagos, it's easy to get people who are already trained, you know, and, but we don't get to see it around here. So that's, I think that's the major challenge for us. In the Southeast here, we have a problem with bakery materials. They're so expensive here, unlike Lagos. We don't even have, um, okay, like in Lagos, there's so many margarine and butters, like different companies, you know, mm -hmm. You can lay your hands on but here we're so limited like when i started my dessert business um, the, um some of the fruits that we use in serving them are grapes strawberries it was just shop right and then when someone makes an order and you rush to shop right and you can't get a pack of strawberry or grapes you're turn in between disappointing someone you know because you've already raised their hopes there's something they're expecting and you don't have the raw materials then got so kind um, spa joined um, ShopRite and somehow we also ha um, we had to find out a way to also get some of these things from Lagos, you know, but um, the prices here are so expensive. Like right now, um, we buy a, a bag of flour for 22000 but in Lagos it's about eighteen, seventeen thousand. 17000 And funny enough, these are people that even charge more than we do. You know, so um, buying materials in South is, is quite expensive, but we're hanging in there. bakers across the country are leaving culinary schools and armed with their oven and cooking gases and boom a new 
baking business is born. What you just saw is just a part of an upcoming documentary on the food industry in the Southeast. And you only get that in Marketplace East on Eastern Report TV. Do well to follow us on all our social media platforms. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Eastern Report TV. I am Blessing Okori. Exploring all shades.